Welcome back to Budget Plane Week on the RC Sailors, where we're ending with two for one in this video. Now, the longtime viewers on the channel will probably recognize these airplanes, and they are both amazing and well worth your time. We wanted to end Budget Plane Week on a bang. We have had a lot of fun this week exploring all new RC planes, but I felt like we were leaving you guys hanging with maybe just a little to be desired, and that's where these step in. Actually, there's a whole fleet of these airplanes. We have the Corsair and the P-51 Mustang because these are mine and Abby's favorites of all time, really. And so that's why they're both stepping in here, but there's also a T-28 Trojan and even a newer jet, which flies just as good as these. Now, Abby and I told you at the beginning and all through Budget Plane Week that we would let you know what our favorites of the week were, and we're not gonna spoil that. We still have a favorite, but we wanted to end on some of our all-time favorites. So the cheating answer is these, but we're still gonna pick something from the week. And in today's video, I'm gonna fly the pretty infamous little e Sheen P-51 Mustang, which will be linked in the description box below if you like what you see, which is my favorite. And Abby's favorite is the Corsair, and she's gonna fly that as soon as I fly this for a few minutes. Let's put it in the air and show you guys why it's one of our favorites. And there you go. That's why it's one of my favorites, because this is a P-51 Mustang flying uh, hands-free right there. And the launch was super, super easy to get in the air um, for really, really cheap. Watch out. For really, really cheap. Abby, I am going to do my best to pan over here to the right and kind of go over with these geese. Do you see the geese? Right there, right behind my airplane. <laughs> Those geese, yeah. I think it needs a little trimming because the right hand turns are pretty wide, which is why it went in behind us. And the left hand turns are super sharp. But this airplane is just really easy to fly. And look at that, silhouette wise, you would think that that was a full scale P-51 flying through the air. It's awesome. We love these little e Sheen Warbirds because they just fly so well. That is, it's very windy if you cannot tell from just listening but if you really know what you're doing and you're watching the airplane you can see that it is really windy and these fly through the wind and fight the wind extremely well surprisingly well they come ready to fly with a battery and a charger and if you choose you can pick up a couple more batteries for just a couple more bucks on different bundles which i highly recommend so you get more flight time they are very efficient and have nice long flight times of usually at least about 10 minutes per battery which is extremely impressive it has three flight modes right now i'm flying in the basic beginner flight mode which has auto level stabilization so it helps keep it nice and smooth in this wind but it also won't let me bank upside down or anything and on a small airplane like this that's extremely important to be able to not have to worry about it rolling over i mean i am flying in this wind and not worrying about fighting the wind like at all really and then if we want to, we can step up to intermediate and advanced flight modes where we have way more control over the airplane. And then if you really want to get fancy, let's do this, Abby. I'm going to climb up some, and then you're going to freak out when I do this. Let's do it. Look at that roll. I did that in beginner mode. That was a beginner mode roll. We'll do one the other way too. It's so easy to do. It literally is the press of a button. Here we go. Button push my direction. I think I have to hold it. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little finicky, but it usually works. There, I was waiting on the input. You can press and hold the button and then push which way you want to go. That's how it works. I forgot. Uh, so yeah, this airplane can do stunts with the press of a button. It can do rolls like I just did, and it can actually do a loop. Let's see if we can pull one off. I'll get it coming back the other way. So even in beginner mode, you can impress your friends with some fancy stunts by literally pressing a button and then pulling back on the right stick. Ooh, and we just did sorry, it. Oh, I loop. completely messed up. Yeah, okay, we'll do it again. I'll do <laughs> one more so loop sorry. and then I'll land it and let you fly your Corsair. All right, let's get a little bit of height. We don't need too much, I guess. That did pretty good. I put the nose into the wind and then I'm gonna press my button and pull back on the right stick. Oh, it didn't work. Sometimes just happens, I think. One more time. Let's do it. Try to pull off another loop. There we go. Yeah, nice. Now before I land and Abby flies for Corsair, 
remember I wouldn't fly this little P51 even though it's extremely lightweight and probably wouldn't ever hurt anybody uh, or some of those big giant jets that I fly that are a thousand dollars after it's all said and done and fly over a hundred miles an hour I would never fly those things without AMA AMA is the Academy of Model Aeronautics. They provide insurance to the hobbyist. Basically one of the few, if not the only companies out there that do that. It's kind of a liability insurance. So if you crash your airplane into somebody's car, someone gets hurt, God forbid, anything like that, hit a building, you know, any of that stuff. That's where AMA will step in as long as you are flying by and abiding by they, their suggested guidelines. It does not have to be at AMA sanctioned fields. You will be covered. And so I highly recommend it. And I mentioned that in this video because I think a lot of beginners will probably buy this airplane. So if you're gonna buy this airplane, just know that I highly recommend AMA and we'll have them linked in our video description box below. Yeah. Also, a new thing with AMA, I want you guys to check out if you're existing members. They just picked up a uh, partnership with a, uh, let me, is it like a, it's a drone app, I believe. I'll have more information in the description box below, but usually I think that's like a $30 or $35 a year uh, subscription. And just by having AMA, I know you get that for free. I saw something on it on Facebook just a couple days ago. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. And, uh, in a future video, let you guys know more about it. But basically all AMA members just got a 35 or so dollar, um, annual subscription to something for free, which is really cool. Okay. I'm going to try to land this even on asphalt. We should be okay. I want to land it right at our feet. And then you're going to fly that Corsair and show people why that's your favorite airplane. Here we go. Here we go. Right at it. Right in front of us. In throttle down. Oh, oh right at our feet. I told you. You keep doing that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, the boss. Ready for takeoff. And now notice, nice takeoff there. She does hers completely opposite of the way I do mine. <laughs> which I throw with my left hand. left hand. So my controls, my hand is on the control stick ready I to go. It. Abby just says, I don't care. <laughs> Actually, it's because it's so easy to launch. Uh, she's good to go that way. You know, some planes don't have flight stabilization and that would be really, 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 really risky to do. But Abby's doing this with flight stabilization beginner mode on and it just kind of flies right away perfectly. Oh, I miss this thing. I haven't flown it nearly enough. It's nice. Little Corsair. Easy to fly. Oh, yeah. Tiny little park flyer. Cheap enough. Ready to fly. You, and these, unlike those other planes from the week er, <coughs> earlier in the week, you know, you have to build those a little bit, right? These, right out of the box, are all in one piece, ready to go. Which is pretty impressive. I told me, I said, we need to end the week with something better. <laughs> really good. Just exceptionally good. And that's happened to us before on a budget play week. I feel like the whole week's been duds and then at the end of the week we pull one of these little Ishin uh, warbirds out and we're like, yep, yeah, these are awesome. I think <laughs> that's what we're doing again. Ishin just needs to do like a Japanese zero in yeah. green and white and then maybe now we had two some... Ishin planes earlier this week but I just don't feel like these they are better are nearly as good as this yeah now if I had to pick one from the week can I go ahead and do my oh yeah you can pick that's fine okay. I thought we'd do it at the end of the video but that's I, fine I'm terrible with the names of these now but it's the little Ishin it was the one with, that was like a carbon fiber rod down the middle the pusher prop yep the pusher prop Yes, that was my favorite. Okay, uh, mine, I'm just gonna give you my vote for looks. <laughs> the, lo the best looking, in my opinion, was the Thunderbirds little knockoff jet, but obviously that flew the worst. And I think the best flying was the, uh, the one, it was also the Ishin one, the last one, video right before this one, with the orange like flames on it. That it was like a, a mini dragon. A something. mini Cessna, I think it was. It's called something dragon. Well, I think I think officially it's called the Ishin Mini Cessna, yeah. but that one uh, 
I, I flew it in the wind, if you guys remember, okay? So, to those of you that watched all of this week, it was the wind flying airplane where I basically just kited it the entire time. Now, I, I think that maybe on another budget plane week, I'll get that back out on the channel and show you guys it flying on a calm day to give it a better fighting chance, but that was my personal pick and favorite. But when stacked up against these Isshin Warbirds, which ones do you think win? I mean, this has ailerons, elevator, and rudder. And so did the others. Fits, right, not all of the planes. But right. your favorite and my favorite, yes. they had it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. These just fly better. They're more responsive. They can handle the wind better. I agree. I just, agree with I that. I just think they're all around better. I love that you can just store them in one piece in the box. Me too. Yeah, the others that we just did. If you wanted to keep them in the box, you'd have a lot of work to take them apart. And the one with the carbon fiber rod like you had, the, the, your favorite, that one was really hard to put together and probably even harder to take apart because I felt like the foam was going to rip. Also, these warbirds that were flying, they do come with tiny wire landing gear. Uh, so uh, although Abby and I are just hand tossing them, you can put the landing gear on and do ground takeoffs and landings a lot better with those wheels. We just like flying them this way. They also store easier this way. So they're just kind of like these grab and go airplanes that are really fun, especially when you fly multiples together. So if you have a group of friends that like to fly, you can put these in the air and kind of pretend like you're, you know, battling it out. Well, what I'm doing right now is kind of Kiting you are, bit, yeah, you really are. I've never actually done, and so <laughs> you're doing a good. little bit of fun trying to do that. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's fun to do when you're flying a plane that's pretty much worry free. Like you know, that. there's a threshold. <laughs> <laughs> there's a threshold with all RC planes, I think, that you hit this point where you feel like you've mostly gotten your money's worth. <laughs> and then you kind of get really brave with the airplane. Does anyone else know what I'm talking about? I think Gary does. <laughs> yeah, Gary definitely does. He gets brave real quick. I think Gary's threshold is, okay, maiden flight, done. done. Time to get brave. <laughs> yeah. So I think we've hit our threshold on these where we feel like we've gotten our fun for the money for sure. And now we're okay with doing crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if people can hear you. You're kind of off I'm to the sorry, side of the sorry, camera. Sorry. I almost crashed. <laughs> That's fine. So, two things. One, I hope you guys are okay. You keep getting lost in that dark cloud. Where'd you go? There you are. I, uh, I hope you guys are okay with us cheating a little bit by... What, what's going on here? Oh, there goes my prop. Oh, that's, that's okay. Great. Let me show you about the prop though. That's another thing. Yeah, it just pops on. All right, listen to this flight stabilization. Right? It's working really well. Now let's do this. We'll turn it off. So that would be an advanced mode, right? There's no stabilization, which is really cool, but it also makes it nice and quiet for this part of the video. <laughs> Abby's prop snapped off. Oh no, it's really bad, right? No, it it's not. snap off. They're designed came off. to pop off. Really cool. They do that so they don't break. It's got a little system in there and all of these little warbirds, my P-51, this one, and the T-28, they all do that. So whichever one is your favorite, trust us, they all fly almost uh, identical, but I do think the T-28, ours was like a little twitchy, right? It had this aileron twitch when it flew and I think that's why we didn't like it as much. I'm sure it was just uh, like a lemon, but it still flew really well overall. But Abby and I love the way the P-51, and I gotta admit, I like the way this Corsair looks really well too, because although it's not perfect to scale, it's 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 close. You know, they do have that gall wing going, which is what the Corsair is famous for, and it still flies really, really well. So props to them, no pun intended. So what I was saying, when you came in for landing, there's two things with these little warbirds, and I hope you guys are okay with it. One, we're kind of cheating a little bit by revisiting an older airplane rather than all new things this week, but we wanted you guys to end really strong. If you can only buy one airplane, buy one of these warbirds, and we'll link all of them in the description box below. The P-51, T-28, Corsair, and actually the little jet too. I put it right up there with same level of quality, and it came out after these, but I think it was really meant to be one of these little airplanes. So that jet will be down there too. And then two, the second thing is, you know, this is more on a positive side, I hope. A lot of people ask us all the time to revisit some of our favorites or even some things that might not have been a favorite 
And so, you know, we always try to bring like new, fun, exciting things that are just being released. Everyone gets excited for the new stuff, but we do revisit some of our favorite old things and we hold on to the things that we like and are worth keeping. So if we held on to it this long, then that should tell you something. It really is that good, okay? <laughs> we uh, will pass things off in trades or whatever. Just, you know, I trade RCs to get the, the dreaded T word company brand just in my hands so I can test things, but I don't like to shine any light on that bad company, which if you're really, really, really in the know, they're going after one of our favorite battery companies right now, just so you know. It's a bit off topic. Small it's, battery company. It's a small battery company, yeah. and that's what's important. That's that's what's bad about it all, okay? Yep. I have to be vague, but I think that if you're in the hobby, you know what I'm talking about. You know what brand and company I'm talking about. They focus so much more on IP rather than RC, and it just hurts the industry big time, in my opinion. So that's that. But uh, there you have it, guys. These are where it's at, and if you don't own one yet, you owe it to yourself to pick one, two, three, or the whole fleet up because there are four and we still have all four of ours and we love them and I'm glad we have them. They fly so well. You don't need a lot of space to fly them. You certainly don't need the amount of space that we're in up here to fly in. And um, I know for a fact that hundreds, if not thousands of you that watch our videos have already bought these. So let us know, reassure us in the comments below. Do you have one? How much do you love it? Do you have three? Chins off, I'm calling on you, buddy. Let us know how many of them you have and how much you love them, because I know you and Gary Z uh, get together and fly these all the time. They're just that good. And these, these are friends that have the Conchindo and, and, uh, and the F-15 Eagle, all these $100 things, you know, multiple, multiple $100 things, yet they like to get these out and fly them because they're just casual, fun, worry-free, enjoying the hobby. And I think that's what this is all about. They're also easy to repair with a little dab of hot glue if you break anything, which they very rarely do break. Actually, we've never broken ours, but just a little bit of hot glue will go a long way easy to keep in the air and just really have a good time. Did you enjoy RC Plane Week, Budget Plane Week on the channel? Let us know in the comments below. And I just wanna end on a very, very positive note and thank God for today and bringing Budget Plane Week to you guys. We had a lot of fun on YouTube and getting to fly these small budget airplanes. And I also wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because without you guys, you know it, we couldn't be as transparent as we are and you've been the backbone to our channel since day one. The best support team in the RC community by far. Thank you guys so much. I don't know if next week will be a themed week, but we have a very cool RC ground vehicle coming, which has been neglected over the last two weeks. We've had boats and airplanes and no cars. Well, guess what? We have a big, awesome, probably fast RC car coming to the channel and I can't wait to share it with you guys. That is coming up on the channel, so be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and before we go, we'll have another budget airplane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.